here. You can take a fib, take it to the high, down to the low that you suspect is a fault one point. And then on your fib, you have to highlight the fib, not that. I like to fib and do one standard deviation negative and negative one half. And I'll explain why in a second. If we are able to, and if it were to move below this point here, let me move it out of there. There you go. If it were to break below that, this could act like. Um, let me check if I can come up with that analogy that makes sense here. Say this say this is a door hinge. Okay. And this is the the edge of the door. And the door has swung up. If this swings down and below here, it can only reasonably expect to move from this low to this high in the same distance below this low down. That would be this level right here. If I'm in a cell model, which I'm not I suggested to you already that if it were not the trading day after the holiday and we were not live, I would have taken the short right when it was in here. I would still be short, even where we're at right now, because the stop loss would have to be above the volume and balance up in here. If it were not the holiday or post holiday, and I would anticipate this low giving way and getting below here, if it were to show speed below this low, which is again over here, that low, I would expect it to speed up through that and then I would want to see speed aggressively into negative 5 or negative point, uh, point 0.5 standard deviation, which is half of this range from high to low below this low. Half the trade would come off here, and then the balance would be aimed for here plus the spread, you know, like uh, the maybe two handles. That's how I would handle that. We're in an indecisive day because we're post holiday. It's the first morning session after Labor Day's holiday. So you have to be very careful about having very strong convictions like I'm suggesting here. But my model for swing trading, and I taught this on the YouTube channel. I'm looking for these types of setups where if it presents an opportunity for me to be short, I'm looking at market structure in a way where it allows me to frame if it were to sell off from here and be bearish and go below here, that would be the perfect symmetrical price move, this one down here. So I would want to see that type of delivery. But how I would handle it is I would want to see speed as it drops right into half of the range here. If I was in a sell program, if I was in a market that was bearish, if I was in a day where I didn't have any reservations about how the market may be stagnant like it's shown today, then I would not even worry about this level here. It would just be me going short, no partials below this low, hold for the whole show down here and just use a trail stop loss properly. And what I just said to you went over the heads of most of you. Because you're not listening. You're just you know, wanting me to talk about what it's going to do next. But I literally just, just, just described to you the optimal swing traders model. If you know everything else I've talked about on this channel, applying what I just showed you there, you'll know why I'm taking partials on some trades and when I'm not taking them on others. You'll know why I'm saying I'm expecting speed and where I should expect those, that speed to, to manifest itself in price. So it, it can't be just simply taught in like one video or a chapter in a book. You know, it, it has to be seen with a lot of other supportive lessons. But a fulcrum point is wherever you think if a low is taken out and you're bearish, whatever the previous run was, just take that run and subtract it to the low and you'll get it. And the way you do that is just by putting your Fibonacci on the high to the low, highlight standard deviation negative one. And that'll tell you where it's likely to draw down to if it was bearish. If it was going to be in a, a, a sell program and it's moving lower, all things equal. The best case scenario exit you know, on a swing trade would be this level down here. 
because it's indecisive, I want to see it does it trade below there, take out the sell side here, take out the sell side here. If I were trading today, I'm not, and it wasn't the holiday, um, you would be counseled to take something below this low as a partial because you're learning to trust it. And then it makes it a lot easier to hold and see if it gets to this point here. And if it does, then you would take a partial there. And then wait and see, does it deliver to go down to here? If it does, wonderful. If it doesn't, you've paid yourself. And that's how you graduate in your experience. You graduate in your understanding. And it it gives you the type of experience that you just can't get from watching videos by me or anyone else. Even if I called the trades live in front of you, you know, if I did it for months, if I stopped cold turkey and you didn't learn how to do this, you would feel a great deal of anxiety because now your, your goose that lays golden eggs is no longer giving you the golden eggs, right? And that's why I teach the way I teach. I want you to be your own golden goose or golden egg goose, like where you, 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 de you determine how many golden eggs you're going to have. You trust yourself, not me. Don't trust anybody else.